Hey gang, Jack Alair here, and today we are going to do uh, part one of probably a four-part video series. Uh, picked up uh, this little guy. Uh, this is the PlayStation Classic. It dropped to 25 bucks, and at that price, I just kind of couldn't resist. Um, let's take a look at the box real quick. So it's got the, the PlayStation style, not the PS1, which is the smaller one. Uh, it does have no AC, USB AC adapter. I have an entire drawer full of them, so not worried there. Contents we've got the console, the controller, the USB cable for power, HDMI, and printed materials one set. Once again, not included. I do like that they gave it a number. So, uh, games we've got in here 20 classic games preloaded. Most of these have issues so uh battle arena toshinden cool borders 2 destruction derby final fantasy 7 grand theft auto intelligent cube jumping flash metal gear solid mr driller odd world abe's odyssey rayman resident evil director's cut revelations persona r4 ridge racer type 4 super puzzle fighter 2 turbo siphon filter tekken 3 Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six, Twisted Metal, and Wild Arms. Now, about half of these games I've played before. So, kind of cool there. Uh, 20 incredible games that defined an era. Are you ready to play? No, because that'll be part two of the... That'll be part two of the thing. So let's go ahead and get this open. Just cut gently. Oops. I'm used to rushing this, but I kind of don't want to. I don't want to look like an impatient child. Okay, seriously. Note to self: edit all of this out. Whoop! Cut the box. All right, step one: box is open. And it looks like they did the thing where they just make a pretty sleeve to go around the actual box. There we go. Alright, so that's cool. So you can just kind of take this and... For those of you who keep your boxes on display, you've got a nice display box. box. This is the instruction packet. We'll look at that later. Because we kind of don't care. Wow, that is tiny. So that is super tiny. So just, uh, wait one. So as a comparison, here is the Super Nintendo Classic. Classic Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo Mini, whatever it's called. So there, PlayStation 1 is a little bigger. but it's thinner. They just, I don't know, they might be the same size, given all. Anyways. So we've got this, that's all well and good. We'll set that up there. And then we'll try and not destroy the box. Sides pull out. And then this 
single part fills up. And here we go. So we've got the USB cable. I believe that is a micro. I confuse micro and mini, but I'm going to say micro because I thought mini. HDMI cable, which I have a bajillion of. Controllers. These are light. Just like the original ones have a little USB connector. They feel good though. Or at least to me. These feel different. The start and select, they feel different, but I need to get a case for this now. Alright, so there you are. So that's all that's in the box. So we've got two controllers, we've got the PlayStation itself, we've got the HDMI cable, and we've got the USB cable. Now I will be checking if the USB cable can be powered from the USB on my television, because that's normally how I cheat, because I only, I, don't, I only need this powered up when the TV's powered up, so a lot of times I'll piggyback it off of there. Um, but I'll go ahead and let you know that. But that's it. So if you uh, if you want to, I got this one at Best Buy. You can also get them on Amazon. I think I saw them for twenty five dollars there. Um, the next part of this, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the games that are on it and how they run, and then we'll uh, part three. We'll look into uh, altering it, and then part four will be looking at the alterations that we've made. All right, well, that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, play on.